suppose you are creating an app like a food delivery app like Swiggy or Zomato so in that whenever you want to order food you just go on the app select the things you which you want to order and you press the order button but as soon as you press the order button your order gets placed you get to know about the amount that you have to pay and that's all but in the back a lot of things are actually happening things like assigning the delivery partner things like calculating actually how much money you have to pay calculating the delivery charges calculating the distance between your location and the restaurant's location so a lot of things are happening at the at the back end now how would you write the code for this one way could be that you populate your client and use your client to call all the required functions one by one this would make your app quite heavy because you have to add all those kinds of function in the in your client mobile application itself now what's the major issue with this the one big major issue with this is that you actually have to keep on updating your app whenever you have a new thing to do so for example today you were you were not providing tracking till now but now you want to provide tracking also so what you are doing you are first uh, updating your client to do another call to get the tracking data so how to avoid this so that's what the video to, today's video is about it's about the facade design pattern it is one of the low level design patterns which can be used to solve these kind of issues so in this instead of calling all different types of things which you want to do for one single operation which is just order food you can actually create a class of your own called the facade class in that class you can do all these calls which you want to do and your client just need to make this call to facade so what's the major crux of it you are actually just combining multiple calls into one single call for the client and you are doing all those multiple calls all those business logic which you are doing you are doing on your app on your backend in a facade class which is handling all the different things which it has to do so what this facade class is doing it is basically gathering all the things which it want to do you can say it is kind of making the dish directly for you getting the ingredients and finally preparing the dish for you so now let's look at the code for this so as you can see now we have this new client in this new client we create a swiggy facade in this we just uh, in the form operation function in which we were actually trying to do all the things which we wanted to do when we have to actually order food we just call swiggy facade dot order food now in this swiggy facade will do all kinds of things it will have the instantiation to all the different kinds of things which you want to do like payment calculator delivery partner assignment restaurant informer order tracker all those kinds of things and it will just do all those things for you and then finally return the payment amount so instead of going by the old route in which you were actually using your client to make all these calls now you are making all these calls in the facade and your client just need to make the call to facade now let's see the different classes which it is calling payment calculator which is actually calculating the payment then it is restaurant informer it will inform to the restaurant that this order has come and you need to prepare this dish then is order tracker to act to, to actually get the tracking data and provide you with that so that you can track your order details and then finally is your delivery partner assignment in which you are assigning the delivery partner who will be picking up the order and giving it to you so this is what facade pass pattern is about uh, now you can think of different use cases for it so whenever you are writing code just think about this pattern this pattern is very useful and i'll see you in the next one